Welcome to another episode of the Clove to Ascendant series, a series where I show a lot of clove tips and tricks. Last episode we were platinum free, so today is the day we must get diamond right. Right? Right? Anyway, the night market is also out, so to make things a bit more interesting, I'm gonna blindly buy one skin of the night market after every game. Why you might ask, well I need something else than the smite classic skin. So will Mr. Lowlander waste his money or get some decent skins? Let's find out. We're platinum free at this moment, but first let's open the night market. What? Zero knives? Zero yellow skins. What the heck is this? I just hope that because we didn't have any knives, the red skins will be better. But let's start with the green one. What will we get? We get a... Oh, Winter Wonderland Phantom. Honestly, I thought this was a bad skin. But after playing with it for a whole week, I actually quite like it. For the green skin, at least. Hello, everyone. Here's a tippy for every controller main. When you need to retake something, it's important that you don't use all your smokes too early. In this round, my teammates weren't on position yet. And the enemy still had their smokes, the Viper Wall. But still, I used both of my smokes. Because I used them so early the retake was a bit harder and i actually gave the enemy cover when running away from the spike spike planted oh okay but as you notice i got a very lucky shot box yeah, one's box. And now you see the flaw, I should have had the smoke for the right side of yellow box. But luckily my team carried, so no worries. Let's skip a few rounds and go to this eco round. At the start, I stole a weapon of the enemy cloak. But later that round, I made a big mistake. And it's about the Q ability, the decay of cloak. Just look at it and guess what I did wrong. Here's the fuse, the fuse. Fight, no fight. Oh no, I got Yep, Mr. Lowlander, bad aim. But here's the thing, it was not just the aim, but it was the mindset that was wrong over here. When you hit your decay, a lot of players would think, oh, let's go for a run and gun because only one bullet needs to connect. But this is not the right way to play, my friends. So to everyone out there, even though you hit your decay, always aim control. Let's go to the next round. I would really recommend this head glitch spot. Very OP. Ah, uh, easy peasy. But after this round, things didn't go really well. And we lost six rounds back to back. Whoops. When things go bad, maybe you just need a little break. So let's take that break and let's talk about something that I personally think that every Valorant player should have. And that's more insight in the statistics about their account. More statistics will not only help you improve, but it's also just lots of fun. And luckily, with the sponsor of this video, Valorant Tracker, you will be able to see that. All you gotta do is download the app and look at that. Apparently, I got 24 aces in my whole career. The game with the most amount of kills is 30. And my headshot rate is um, not very good. I know now that I need to work on my aim a little bit more. You can also find statistics about all the agents that you play with, your weapon stats, map stats. But something that even helps you more during the games is that you can also see the statistics of the enemies and your teammates. You can see what rank they are for example, their win loss rate. And with this info you can already make a game plan. Now you know for what players you have to be careful of. And this was just a small part of the app. Valorant Tracker offers way more. Like a detailed match history, an in-game overlay, guides. So what I would say try it out yourself with the link in the description it's completely free so why not my friends and now let's continue the game on icebox when you play on icebox you gotta remember that most of the fights will be long range and because most fights are long range a vandal is better on this map than a phantom so even though i just got a new phantom skin i picked up the vandal after seven rounds and suddenly i started making kills again Whoa. Here's an OP combo with Clove. If there's a smoke in front of you, use your DK and then tap fire through the smoke. Now suddenly you only need to hit one or two shots and getting kills through smokes is way easier. What? Ha! Second all, Viper. This is too obvious, man. No sneaky little red this time. I knew it. There's always a cypher in that group. Corner the over there. Okay, all good. The next round we did exactly the same strategy. I mean, if it works, it works, right? Oh! And even though this is guns versus eco, you shouldn't be pushing so aggressively over here. Welcome in the platinum, I guess. Yeah, not today, that. A big reason why I really like playing with Clove is because this agent has a really unique way of playing the post plant. Usually, after you planted the spike, you should play very carefully. But if you have the Clove ultimate ready, then you can get away with playing very aggressively. And I love playing aggressive, my friends. One enemy remaining. Oh. He's on my, on my body. I'm so dead. On my body, on my body. Oh, you're a hero, thank you. Do you guys also sometimes have that inner voice that says, Oh no, don't do it, this is a bad peek. But you do it anyway? Well, that's what happened in this round. Usually... This is a bad peek. Yeah, that was a very bad peek, Mr. Lowlander. Anyway, this game is so long. So I'll just put on some cool music and edit the rest of the game in a 10 second montage. Oh. 
I know what some people say, Mr. Lowlander, please never make a montage again. I'm not the best montage editor. Only minus 9 RR, no worries. And let's see what the next skin will be. It's a blue one, so uh, I don't expect too much. Uh, I, uh, for a blue skin, it's decent, it's decent. I take my words back, the sensation frenzy sucks. A big waste of $6. Hello everyone. Dong, ding, dong, dong, ding, dong. Do you hear the bell? This was one of those games where not a lot happened until the fifth round. Look at this clip and tell me what I did wrong. Oh! Ah, okay, it's okay. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Ah! One enemy last one aside, last one aside. Did you spot that? In this case, I actually think that I didn't do anything wrong this round. The reason I died was because of bad aim. And some people might say, oh, your ultimate over there is a waste of your ulti. But something you need to keep in mind is that you don't need to make any kills to be useful in the round. So the fact that I used my ultimate over there distracted the enemy Sky and Reyna. And that's how we won the round in the end. On Lotus, if you need to retake B, always be careful for enemies pushing. I don't know why, but especially over here on stairs and at Waterfall, it feels like the enemies are pushing way more often than on other maps. Oh, this is I got my ult. Awesome, there. Take your time. Let's go to the second half now. Clove versus Clove. Who is the better one? In the smoke, right? I think it's Kian. What? Okay, good. Last player standing. Now let me tell you something about the clove ultimate. If you kill an enemy clove and you pick up their gun before they press their ulti, they actually don't spawn with their gun anymore. So in this round, when the enemy clove died, it suddenly was a friendo against the classic easy win. What the heck? Oh come man, I have your gun right? I have your gun right? Pick me then. No way, he's on the left. Haha. <laughs> the rest of the game was smooth sailing and we won in the end. Plus 19. Let's go to the next one. But first, the skin of course. It's the second blue one. We get a referee marshal. Honestly, the referee marshal is pretty decent. I'll skip the next game because not a lot happened except for this round. <laughs> Take a helicopter. Ah. And let's see what the first red skin will be. The first red skin is a... Oh, Valiant Hero Ghost. How is this a red skin? This one is also not my favorite. I much prefer a Reaver skin or something. The only cool thing about this one is that it's sort of a Wukong League of Legends easter egg. Hello, everyone. In the second round of this game, I accidentally killed my teammate. Man, oh man, Mr. Lowlander, you really should work on your aim a little bit more. Oh, sorry dude, I was too late, my bad. But all good, here's an important tip that you can use in any game. Sometimes you don't really pay attention and you suddenly get killed by one of those nasty lurkers. What? If this is the case, here's something that you have to know about lurker players. If they lurk once in a game, they're usually gonna do it again. So next round, when I was standing in mid again, I realized, oh yeah, last time Sofa was behind me. Let's keep an eye on Hall this time. You, oh, I knew it. Once, once a flanker, two, always a flanker. Limited. Let's go to the sixth round now. We had to retake A site. And last time I had to retake A site on Breeze. A lot of people commented that I should smoke the spike instead of A main. And okay, okay. At first I didn't believe you guys. But after this round, I completely understand it. By smoking the spike, the enemies have to peek you. And when they peek, your teammates can kill them. But if you smoke main, then the enemies can safely spam through the smoke. And that's how I died. Oh, where is... Oh, what, what, uh, both, both are uh, main. Now, smoke the spike, Mr. Lowlander. Don't smoke main. Smoke the spike, please. Wanna smoke? Oh, I should have smoked. I can't, what do I do? Okay, first of all, don't push before the smoke appears. But as you see in this round, because I smoked main, my teammate Jet had to push deep. If I just smoked the spike, she could hold it from a safe angle. But no worries, my friends. I had my ultimate ready. And if you use the clove ultimate, you have enough time to refuse the spike before you die. Spike while I'm slowly dying. Oh, good. <laughs> on any map on Valorant, but especially on Breeze, it's important to not over-rotate. Why on Breeze? Well, Breeze is an extremely big map, so rotating takes a bit long. That's why I stayed on A in this round, and Viper did not expect it. Let's go to the second half now. Did this ever happen to you? You, you crouched under my bullet? Really? What? Okay, take a moment. Slow motion. Look at that. She literally crouched under my bullet. Very unlucky. And the rest of the game was also unlucky. We lost in the end. Only minus 16. Let's go to the next one. First, let's see what the second red skin will be. We get a... Uh, 
Uh, I'm Matt Black Bulldog. How is this a skin? Okay, honestly, this is the Black Market Bulldog and this is the normal Bulldog. Why did I pay 13 euros for this? It's basically the same skin. Anyway, the next game we won, so only one more for the up rank. Hello, everyone. A golden rule for playing around mid on Ascent. Don't peek solo, but if you peek with the teammate, go for it. Made it, made it. Got him. So this next play, I would not recommend. I almost died and gave the enemies a specter, but in the end, it luckily worked out. I'm not sure. Oh, huge. Besides these skills, the rest of the first half didn't went very well. So I picked up this beautiful skin and peeked mid with it. But here's the thing. Peeking mid with the bulldog is not a smart ID. It's not an insta-kill headshot, so I don't know where my brain went this game. Was ah, but no worries. Keep focus. Next round, an eco round. You know what I often say in eco rounds, right? Try to go for crazy strategies and take a little bit more risk. So I tried to walk all the way around the enemy spawn, and we got an enemy. But then this happened. They open money. Guys, we can win this. We can win this. Did you spot that? The freaking operator of the enemy flew over the map. Where's the off? What the heck? Oh, it fell off the map. Oh my god. Last player standing. You have one down? Oh, yeah. Yeah, one down. 102 on him. Place your bets now. Does Mr. Lowlander win this 1v1? Oh, yeah, oh, oh my god, my hands are sweaty. I have Whoa! Okay, well played. I did not expect that. Mr. Lowlander is on fire this game. Next round, a 1v4. Maybe he can also win this one. In this round, I knew that one enemy was in both house and the other one was at the lever. So what I tried to do was use my smoke to block off the one at lever and then peek the one on both house to force 1v1 battles. One problem though, the lever player pushed stairs instead of lane, so I peeked into two enemies. Oi! <laughs> Next round, in half buy. Also in half buys, you can go for some crazy strategies and luckily my teammate Jet had a good idea. Yeah, so clean can top it. Oh, fuck, three. In the second half, not a lot happened except for this round. Oh, good job. And in the end, we also won this game. And we got the promotion, my friends. Diamonds, finally. Our final skin is a... Oh, Doodle Buds Phantom. I'll definitely buy this one, honestly. I think this was the only good skin in the night market. But hey, sometimes you win one and sometimes you lose one. Thank everybody so much for watching. I hope you learned something. And I see you guys in the next one. Peace.